All right, so we're gonna do a review on the Baby Lock Flourish 2. Um, I just got this embroidery machine. I'm very, very excited. Um, I've been outsourcing my embroidery for a very, very long time. So um, I just kind of wanted to do a little bit of a, a review just to give you guys like an idea of like how it works and um, show you that it's a really good investment to make. Um, even if you just wanted to do like a side job or if you wanted to use it for gifts for people, um, I think it's awesome. Uh, I did invest in some hoops for the embroidery machine. It did come with two hoops, but um, I invested in other hoops. Uh, here's the machine. It comes with a really nice cover. Uh, I'll take that off for you. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's really, really nice. Um, and let's pop that on real quick and then I'll show you all of its settings and everything like that. Okay, so on the side here is the on button. And then just to get it going, uh, you just press okay. And then that will adjust. Okay, it's a really, really nice um, machine. So it's asking me if I wanted to recall previous memory. I'm just gonna say okay. Um, and then I was working on doing an, uh, an initials for an order. Um, and I, I, uh, it, the, the initials were on the smaller side. So if you can see here, um, let me go back here. Okay, and then here we go. Here we can um, like choose different things, different sizes. Uh, you can choose your size for the um, hoop. I did the smaller hoop right here. And you can just go back and say, okay, but let's just start from the beginning. Um, Let's just start from the beginning. And I actually wanted to um, do an, a sew out for you guys. Um, these are the fonts that come with it. I do recommend buy, if you want to go like professional and like really offer a lot more fonts, um, I would suggest buying the program. Um, there's a few different programs. I'll put a link um, in the description below. Um, to one that I think that you, uh, is good. I haven't bought it yet, um, but I am looking to buy uh, a software program that will offer more fonts and more images and whatnot. But so here is, you know, you can type out whatever you want. Um, like let's say you want to do an initial A. You can pick if you want it large, medium, or small. Um, let's go back here. Uh, and then like this font's beautiful, but I have to say this one is more thin than opposed to like this font right here. This font sews out thicker. Um, and then here's the exclusive script. This one sews out a little bit thinner too. And then um, you can even get into like, let's say, let's go into like, like these pretty little flowers. Um, and then you have your shapes, but this is what the, the embroidery machine comes with. Now you can also buy images like separately and see this little flash drive here that I have stuck in here. You can download it from your computer onto the flash deck and then insert it into the computer. And then if you press this button right here, see, I have those, uh, in there already, but like, you can download that into your, uh, into your, uh, embroider machine. And then you can pretty much sew out or embroider whatever you want. Now they say that the, the software, the digitizing software is a little bit more, um, like it will come out clearer, but I haven't really had an issue yet. So I can buy, you can buy them on Etsy, um, buy like images on Etsy, um, here, let me open this up for you. So this is how, how I threaded, um, 
the machine and so it's a little bit loose for some reason I don't know why um but this this is like a metallic rose gold um and then I'll actually post another video of like how to thread the machine but it's pretty simple it's like self-explanatory so that's exactly how you want your thread to go on to the uh the thing and then it's self-explanatory. It shows you exactly how to loop it through, everywhere where to loop it. So it's pretty easy. I literally figured this machine out in uh, an hour. I was already, after I opened it, put it up, put it on my table and got it going, I, I started embroidering within, within an hour. Okay, so... Um, I'll take you over here. This is where I keep all my hoops. So I, this is this hoop right here is like a, I wanna say it's a two inch, two by three inch. It's a really small hoop. Um, I'll have a, I, I got this on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. This is really good for like small, um, small embroideries. So I did like, I make masks. You can get them on my Etsy shop, Ashley Abrams or AshleyAbrams.com. Um, but I did like this little uh, logo of a mask. Um, and see, like if I had the digitizing software, it would have came out a little bit more clear. But because I didn't have the digitizing software, it didn't come out like perfect. But everything else on that embroidery machine, if it's if it's comes standard with the embroidery machine, it comes out li literally perfect. Or if you have the digitizing software, it will come out perfect. So I did it with this hoop right here. Um, this hoop is super good for like small um, projects. Um, and then I also got this size hoop, uh, which is like a five inch hoop. And I got this one on Amazon as well. And I'll put the link in there. Uh, and then this the embroidery machine came with this size of a hoop. So this one's a big one. This one's like, I don't know. This one looks like it's like a, like an eight inch hoop or something like that. Let's measure it. I don't even know. Let me grab my, my little, my little sewing room. This is where I, oh, and there's a cat. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. So this one's about nine and a half inches this is like a nine and a half inch hoop that the the embroidery machine comes with the flourish too so about nine and a half by six and a half this one and it comes with that one and then i of course wanted to do smaller projects so i got the um what is this one Oh, this looks like it's, what, a six inch by five inch. So a six inch by five inch. And then the itty bitty one, which is so nice because if you wanted to do like small little, um, little things on here. Uh, so this one's a two and a half inch by, I want to say three inch when I ordered it online. Yep, two and a half by three inch. So I would highly recommend this little one right here. Um, and it's not a baby lock brand, but the price is right. And it's a lot cheaper than the baby lock brand. So I would highly recommend getting it um, through the link that I provided in the description. Okay, so. And they also come with like these little guiding things, but I've been doing this so long that I just kind of freehand it, but um, that's just me. So uh, also you want to get yourself some, um, these all came with the embroidery machine. So um, it, there's like different kinds of, um, different kinds of stuff. We're gonna actually use this one. This one's a cutaway soft uh, stabilizer. And, um, yeah, I think I want to do, 
like a heart on one of the aprons uh, because I actually make aprons that clip instead of tie. And I sell them on AshleyAprons.com and my Etsy shop, Ashley Aprons, or you can get them on Amazon. Um, just Google Ashley Aprons. Okay, so where did I keep this thing? Um, and then, you know, the, the, the embroidery machine came with this pack here where it comes with um, all everything that you need. Um, little scissors, uh, bobbins, which I've already, I've already filled up and just a bunch of stuff, you know, and then I actually ended up getting these needles, these extra needles right here. And I can put a link in the description below for these two. I like titanium needles cause they're nice and strong and you won't have to like replace them as often as the cheaper needles. So it's actually worth it to invest in. Um, now, I'm not a professional embroiderer by any means. I just got this embroidery machine. So um, if you have a thicker spool, uh, I would suggest using a thicker um, cap. So right now I have a small one on there. Okay, so I'm going to be using the um, three and a half by two and a half hoop. Um, and then we can do like shapes or whatever you want. I'm going to just do my... Um, initials so or my first initial and then um, the medium let's see if it will let me yep it'll let me have the small uh, you know what let me change this back to the large and then and edit it will let you rotate too as well so like let's say I wanted to rotate why isn't it letting me rotate here maybe it won't let me rotate because it's a smaller hoop but if you have a bigger hoop it will let you rotate around whichever way you need to embroider um, and then also, too, you can save this into the, um, the embroidery machine if you want. Okay, so let's start embroidering. I'm going to put that foot down. And then you just press start. So what I like to do is I like to snip with these cool little scissors. I like to snip that extra piece of thread so it's not getting in the way of the embroidery. And a lot of the times, like if you're going to be using this for your business, you can charge like by how many stitches it takes. So if it's like 411 stitches to do this A, like for a full name, it's going to be a lot more than that. So you can charge anywhere from, uh, you know, 10 to $20 per name. All right, and that's done. So let's take it out and see how it looks. And then it automatically cuts it. Well, I hope you like this little review video that I did of um, 
this uh, embroidery machine. It's the Flourish 2. I'll put the link in the description below. Um, I like it so far. Uh, it does a really good job. I'm looking forward to getting that software so I can do more because the possibilities are endless with this machine. Uh, it has a really, really clean stitch and um, the quality is definitely there with this machine and it's very, very, very easy to use. So if you're a beginner like me when it comes to embroidery, um, this machine is like perfect. All right. Well, I'll see you guys later. Bye.